guys welcome back to my channel it's Kaylin Alex if you're new here welcome go ahead and subscribe and if you're returning thank you so much for tuning in so today is gonna be an exciting video we're gonna be sharing all things jewelry because I am going to be talking about my current jewelry collection I have quite a bit of things here so let's just go ahead and get started I'll start with the items that I am wearing. Now, uh, we'll start with rings. So of course, on my left hand, I have my beautiful, gorgeous wedding ring that I absolutely love. So on the right hand, I have my Cartier Justin Clue ring, and I have the David Yurman cable ring, and it's paired or stacked with the Cartier love ring. So usually, this is kind of like what I wear every day on these on these fingers. I uh, usually will pair or stack the two Cartier rings just because I like the way that looks as well. But for the purposes of the video today, I just wore them separate. So I did kind of give a review on the Cartier rings, my love ring. I absolutely love, would highly recommend it because it is just such a great piece to have a forever piece and honestly every piece that i have is what i would consider to be forever pieces because they fit perfectly for any given moment there is a few statement pieces you will see a trend in stackable jewelry for me because i like to layer my jewelry so i tend to gravitate towards um more dainty pieces that's just my vibe because it can be stacked and i just prefer the look of that now of course some moments call for a little bit more of a statement and i do have a few of those but not a whole lot so this uh the cartier justin clue ring is the smaller version it is in gold uh, as well as the um love ring is obviously in yellow gold it is the middle with I cannot remember the the number, but it's the middle one or like the normal one. And then the uh, David Yerman ring is just like a, the band, the cable band. And I pair them sometimes um, because I wear my Cartier ring every day and this is the finger that it fits on. <laughs> so I usually just, you know, just pair it like this. So then moving down to the wrist on the left side, I usually wear my Rolex. This is a gold Rolex with the white face. I love this. Honestly, if I don't get another watch, I will be happy. <laughs> now, of course, I want more. Of course, I want more. But I really, really, really love my Rolex. I feel like it's the perfect size. This is the 28 millimeter. So dainty and so cute. Very, you know, simple when in terms of like watches. Um, and I just love it. So then on this hand, this is a stack that I like to wear pretty often. So first, I have this diamond tennis bracelet um, that I got from Capuccelli that you guys will have seen me unbox. Um, and then I have the Cartier Sweet Bracelet um, in Mother of Pearl. And then the Five Motif Bracelet in Malachite my favorite little set a few things about these bracelets the tennis bracelet love 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 have nothing but great things to say i am so glad that it was this size because honestly when i first got it i was hoping that it was a little bit bigger because i don't know i just had in mind that i wanted a, a wider um, bracelet but this honestly is so perfect the perfect size for layering um, but I love it. Haven't had any issues. I did have to have the lock on it replaced because I felt like it was a little bit too high off the necklace. So it was constantly being cut. Um, I have not really had that problem as much with it. So all good. The Mother of Pearl, uh, the Van Cleef Sweet Mother of Pearl. I have had to have this one repaired. The safety along the hook. You guys can kind of see the hook is here and this is like the safety part the one that's connected to the hook for some reason had broken so 
the part that connected to the bracelet it was almost like the bracelet had split in half where it should have been connected right and i couldn't figure out how but the bracelet was still on but i knew one wrong move and my bracelet would have been gone <laughs> And it's so ironic how I looked down and seen it and I was like, oh my God, I don't think that's supposed to be like that. I took it in and the guy was just like, um, you, your safety is, you know, broken. It's likely that it got caught on something and then it just snagged it. So I did have to get that one replaced. It didn't take, it didn't take long to be repaired. So that was a plus. Um, and then the Malachi bracelet. I know Malachi is a very precious the sensitive one <laughs> of all of these stones but i wear mine frequently um i've had this one for a little while now and i wear it like very frequently and i haven't had any issues with it i do not shower in it at all anytime i'm washing my hands i make sure that it's down my wrist that's kind of like why i wear it you know at the um highest part of my arm as opposed to the other ones uh, and I did not get it resized to fit my wrist even more because of that reason. I wanted it to be on this end. So I'm cautious when it when it comes to getting in water with it. And I have not worn it in the shower and I will not wear it in the shower. But anything else is fair game for me <laughs> with the exception of my watch, of course. That is another little point. I like to wear my jewelry. I don't really like to take it off if I don't have to. But if it's a piece like this and I know it needs to come off. I take it off the sweet mother of pearl bracelet i wear and have worn it for the last nearly two years constantly um which also would explain it possibly being caught on something and breaking but other than that i wear my pieces every day if not i don't take them off so then moving along i have the necklaces that i'm wearing this top one is uh the cartier diamant which has since been renamed to the La Cartier, I think. I will try, I, it will be linked down below, but it's since been renamed, but it is a smaller, um, the smaller size is basically just a gold pendant, gold diamond necklace that I love, the perfect layering touch. And then this one is the Frivol, um, the Cartier mini Frivol with the emerald stone in the middle. I absolutely love, this is probably one of my favorite, one of my favorite pieces. And you guys, you guys will have heard me mention this necklace a whole lot <laughs> because I really do like it that much. And I think that it's just so perfect and dainty and it matches my Malachi bracelet, so it's even perfect. I did have it resized and lengthened rather. Um, so this is the longest length and I never tell them how much I want it lengthened. I just go in and like have my advisor, um, send it off to be lengthened so i don't know if there's a length that you should tell or whatnot but i just tell them i want to lengthen they go and do the work <laughs> okay so now i think i want to try to do it by brand i've kind of grouped my accessories in a in in groups so i'll just start with one um we'll start with the van cleef piece because i have another piece from them the next piece is going to be my vintage mother of pearl necklace that i also wear very frequently um this one i have showered in i have worn it for a few days at a time and nothing has happened with it now mother of pearl is another delicate one that will get dull as you wear it but it's not to the point where i'm like it looks like a rock <laughs> or something just like you know not mother of pearl so i have worn it in the water and have not seen the integrity of the stone be you know manipulate it at all it still does look nice the chain is still nice and shiny so i have no complaints about wearing my jewelry day to day with the exception of my malachi bracelet will not touch the water if i can at least help it but i love this necklace i usually i'm usually wearing it but since i already had these two on i didn't decide to wear it today but yeah oh another thing that i wanted to add while we're here and talking about necklaces and layering I do have a piece which is a connector for my necklaces when I want to layer them. It looks like this. So one side has the little hooks and then the other side has just the little, the you know, the holes that you connect it to. This can, let's see, and then this comes apart so you can like keep the necklaces on or 
take them off all at once. So you can layer your necklaces three at a time and they can lay perfectly without intertwining with each other. Now, the only drawback with it is I do notice that this particular necklace, whenever I put it on there, it does tend to like flip up and down because the gold, the connector is a bit heavy. So it kind of like, I don't know, drapes down my back a little bit. Um, that's kind of like the only drawback is that it does have a little weight to it. So the necklaces tend to pull backwards because of that weight. And I don't like that, but I also don't like my necklaces intertwining when I am wearing multiple ones. So it's like a give and take kind of thing. Um, <laughs> but I still do use it. You just have that small drawback. But I imagine it really wouldn't be an issue if your necklaces had a little weight to them. Um, these necklaces just are very lightweight, so yeah. So next I'm going to mention some items that I've gotten from jewelers. Now this question for me, I get a lot about recommending a jeweler or if, I guess guidance there. I don't per se have a specific jeweler that I only shop with because most of the jewelry that I've purchased has either been from a fashion house or has been a gift or someone that may be my, a jeweler that my husband has worked with and I don't necessarily have that relationship with them. So it's kind of like I don't feel comfortable sending and recommending someone. Although great experiences that I've had, I haven't gotten someone, you know, that I'm like, okay, this is where all of my people need to go, if that makes sense. But I'm working on it. I am working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. So the first piece that I'll mention is the is my tennis necklace. Now this necklace I got from my now husband as a birthday gift a few years ago and it is just so perfect. Diamonds have different characteristics and the type of diamond you get is going to say a lot about price and size and the look um, and how it's set also makes a difference. These are four prong sets so they are round diamonds but they're set with the four prong prongs so it looks as though they're square it's that you know traditional look of a tennis necklace the same with my bracelet now these diamonds are a bit larger than my bracelet but still the same you know overall set with the four prongs so it looks more square it appears to be more square or like a link you know like a um chain i love this necklace i do wear it frequently i will measure it to see what the drop is on me so you guys will know just for size reference this is just the classic diamond tennis necklace it's nothing special outside of the fact that it's a diamond tennis necklace so moving along i have another necklace that is that was a gift to me from when i was like nine or ten it is this diamond necklace that has it's like the shape of like an ace and it's just centered with diamonds this is actually a piece that i was considering or will be giving to kari once she gets a little bit older i did take it to a jeweler to get the chain shortened for her but he was like i'm gonna have to remove the I'm gonna have to do a little work on it because I this necklace is one that doesn't come off of the pendant. So they're gonna have to they would have to chop the necklace, chop the bracelet, I mean the pendant a little bit where it connects. And I was like, mmm. I think it's the sentimental part that this was one whole piece, and then having it altered like that is like changes the necklace a bit. So I don't know, I'm I'm a little on the fence about it right now. I'm gonna wait till she gets a little bit older where she can, you know, wear necklaces and I not feel weird about her not taking them off. So once she get a little older, I'll see how I feel because I would prefer not to have this altered. You know what I mean? Because it's like one piece and I don't want to like change it. So that's neither here nor there, but this is like a one of those pieces that we're, will be heirloomed, if that's the word, or an heirloom. Yeah, we're gonna call it that. The next brand I'm gonna mention is my favorite, Chanel. I love Chanel so much. First we have my black and gold pendant or brooch. This is the champagne gold versus the yellow gold or you know, bright yellow gold. I love it because it's so toned down but you still see the gold and it goes with everything. I wear this brooch so much 
it's ridiculous like i will put it on with like a shirt i put it over a jacket you guys have seen me wear it in multiple ways and i just love um it for that and i honestly did not think i would get as much wear out of it <laughs> but i do and i haven't had any any issues with it of course the leather has been sewn down very well so it, none of it has popped through the the gold pieces how the handbags will do sometimes so I have nothing but good things to say about these. Honestly, brooches are those accessories that I feel like don't get as much love as they need to. But they are truly pieces that can really take an outfit a step above or, you know, just give it a different look and a different personality. You know, it adds a little more variety. So I think a brooch or investing in brooches is a good way to start when it comes to accessories and accessorizing your complete look outside of jewelry. Next one, since we're talking about brooches, I'm going to mention the Chanel um, individual ones. It's one brooch, but the pieces are individual. This is a piece that came out a few years ago, and I have always loved this idea um, of the individual letters. Now, I believe it came on a belt before. Um, this is just classic Chanel, right? But these pieces just really add a mm to anything that I wear. For instance, this past um, weekend, I wore them on my blazer for a holiday party, and it really took that blazer a whole step up. Like, of course, the blazer was phenomenal on its own, but adding those brooches to the collar or the lapels was just like chef's kiss. I absolutely loved it, and I love these, these um, brooches. I have seen these resale for a ridiculous amount of money with that i would not pay for them <laughs> i'm sorry i love them but that is but they're classic piece so i get it so then next i'll talk about the earrings that i have on because i didn't even mention them <laughs> these are chanel hoops as you'll see on this side of them they have the chanel logo where the kind of gold link up here and it's woven in the leather just as my brooch is except this is a this is actually a yellow gold like this isn't the champagne gold. this is a true gold color is very 90s inspired and definitely my vibe I feel like it matches my hair and obviously my outfit so I just love that love that for me the next pair of Chanel earrings that I have are these dangling sha and nails and i wear them frequently you guys have seen these a lot but i just love the gold on it this is more of a this is a yellow gold but not as bright as some of the other pieces um it's a little bit more toned down and i love that these surprisingly aren't that heavy either they're pretty lightweight um just a great piece to have and one of those pieces that i'm like 10 years from now they still give that fresh look but also like a vintage vibe because it's like a moment in time like when chanel was separating the letters and the word and the name of like i love that i love that the next chanel piece i'm going to mention is this necklace now this necklace is one that can be worn as a choker with like a hanging piece actually that's it's pretty much like a choker so it wraps or connects almost like one of those kind of like collars so it wraps around like this and then it hangs. And I just love that piece. This is also considered high fashion jewelry. Um, and as expected, I have not had any tarnishing. I would hope not, <laughs> but you really never, you really never know when it comes to these type of pieces because they aren't fine jewelry. This is what we would consider fashion jewelry. So it's usually gold plated or something of the sort so you run the risk of it you know kind of fading or the integrity being altered at least a little bit but i haven't had those issues and i'm very excited about that and this piece is like many 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 years old and i have not had any anything to happen to any of the pieces which i'm very very excited about then i of course have these um chanel studs with the rhinestones in the middle very dainty classic everyday earrings i think these might have been my first pair of chanel earrings and i got them oh so many years ago i have had the rhinestones replaced in these because it's so obvious but this is so common for these rhinestones to fall out of these earrings it's ridiculous but 
it you know it happens and i've had i had them many years before i had to get them replaced okay now switching categories we're going to talk about dior first items i'm going to mention are this bracelet and necklace set that i have in the gold cuban chain link style now this is actually a true gold true true gold true yellow gold i love these pieces these are also of course high fashion jewelry but i've not had any issues with this i haven't had any discoloration any of the gold peeling and i've also had these for a few years at this point um but i have nothing but good things to say about them i think that they add such a beautiful touch and of course i like to wear them separately because <laughs> together i don't know it just seems like a lot for me they're already a bit chunky for what i typically wear every day um so these are definitely pieces that i add you know depending on the outfit of course and I usually don't wear them together. These are also good stackable pieces because because of the width, it adds a little bit more of a um, variety in terms of width and shapes of the items and texture because you have the links. Uh, so these are great for uh, stacking and pairing as well as the necklace. If you want to like say I have this thin one on here, this will probably be the one that I will wear up here and I probably wear something a little longer and then more of one that was more of a um, thinner choker style and it would be perfect. It even matches the shirt I have on today. So it really just depends on the look when it comes to these but I love these. Dior is another one of those brands that I absolutely love and especially their jewelry. <sighs> it's so cute and so fun. I love, I adore Dior's accessories. <laughs> Honestly, it's one of my favorite brands, so I may be a little biased there, but these pieces I have no had no issues on, and gold is my thing. I am a gold hardware girl, which you guys will see in my collection. So, yeah, I really do love these pieces, and they're so classic, like it's classic Dior. So then next I have the classic Jador earrings with the bumblebee on one side and then the Jador with the star on the other. I have them in the silver. I always get compliments on these earrings just because of how abstract <laughs> you know they are. They're two different earrings. And I just love that because they're so extra. Like it's not it's not just one style. They're different. And I love that. So and they work well even with my hair being big so you can still see them. Love these highly recommend these um, even the aged gold, I'm usually not one that likes the antique look, but for these, it works. And for certain things, it works. And honestly, I've been more <laughs> liking a lot of more jewelry that is that aged or antique gold. I just feel like it can be worn with so many different things. But this one is, ju is just a silver pair. So then I have the um, CD or Christian Dior stud earrings now this is that aged or antique gold that i was mentioning i think these work so well for the um for this earring it is that antique gold but it's like perfect like these are the perfect size in my opinion they're more like huggies but not super small huggies these are a smaller earring um but very much so every day obviously you can they can be worn you know at night as well depending on your outfit um but this goal is the antique goal so it's a little bit more casual in my opinion i typically only wear these with casual day-to-day -day, maybe day to evening or night looks if i'm not going somewhere dressy um because of that the look of the goal but i feel like it works so well next i have one of my other favorite brands it's gonna be louis vuitton now this piece i have is the leather bracelet with the monogram print on it this is such a casual everyday bracelet i feel like this is one of those items that i usually wear when i'm uh have on something very relaxed very calm down and i want to add a little bit of razzle dazzle <laughs> to an outfit that is already plain um this is a piece that i would go to it's also one of those good gift ideas that i think is good for um, obviously a person who's into jewelry like that but you know it's just like a leather bracelet and it does add a little bit of more of a texture if you try if you in terms of stacking or pairing it with other pieces but you have to be careful because it is one of those 
um casual pieces so it doesn't really like pair well with a lot but it's definitely something that can be stacked and worn together so the next jewelry item i have are these louis vuitton hanging earrings with the logo i love these earrings i love how small they are they work so well the only thing that i have to say about these earrings is that i don't know if you guys can hear them but when they hang they make this little chime noise and it reminds me of those wind chimes if you guys can hear that imagine these being in your ear <laughs> you hear that noise like you hear the the earring kind of moving around now it's not a big enough deal where i'm like these have to go but if that is something that could possibly like annoy the heck out of you stay away because it is there but i still do like these earrings because they're a, a drop style earring so it's different from the hoops that i usually wear and of course they're louis vuitton which is one of my favorite brands so i just thought these were so perfect and so cute the next brand I'm going to mention is David Yerman. Now, these were some of my very first, like, fine jewelry, if you will, items. These are items that I always recommend for great gifts, great things for the people who are, you know, trying to get into the luxury jewelry or, you know, those pieces that you'll have forever. These are highly recommend. This particular collection that I'm going to mention today are, is the cable collection. I have a lot of the cable pieces. I still do like the cable pieces. Um, they're such classic items. They're such items that you can like get a, a nice family set of them and wear them all at once. I just love them. So first I have <laughs> the OG. I oh my god, this bracelet, oh it brings like so many memories. Cable bracelet with the pearls. My birthstone are pearls, so it has the pearls on the end. You can get your birthstone, or you can get like diamonds, or I think you can get uh, there's some without them, but this one happens to have the diamonds around it and then the pearls on the end. When I tell you I have gotten all of the money's worth, cost per wear when it comes to this item, I've exceeded, right? This I had back in middle school, maybe high school. Was it high school? I think it was high school. But I wore this for like six seven years straight like without taking it off with the exception of going to work out or going to the pool i wore this every day i did have to have one of the pearls replaced because it literally just fell out and naturally that's bound to happen when you wear a piece that often um but i had to get it replaced it wasn't that big of a deal but i love this piece i always 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 recommend these pieces um they're great gifts great first items like great items to have in the collection forever like i look forward to passing a lot of these things down to my children once they get older or i get older <laughs> um but especially the david yearman pieces because you can't go wrong with them so then the next one i have is the the next two are one of them is has the pearl at the top this one is more delicate way more delicate than the others i don't wear this one every day i would not wear this one every day because of how delicate it is um i think a long when i had this for maybe like the first i don't know a few weeks this pearl on the top had already snapped off because it got hung on something and i you know normally you know grab my arm and it snapped so i did have to have that replaced they said it was common because of just the design of this bracelet you do have to be careful with it so i don't typically wear this bracelet um a lot and i definitely don't wear it every day um without taking it off this is one of those pieces like you have to wear and take off uh, and they do need to be clean so <laughs> that's a little embarrassing they i don't wear these pieces often as often anymore um, because I have so many other things that I try to rotate out, but they do need to be cleaned. So the other piece is just the one with the hook on the end. This one has a hook and put it through there. And then these cable studs with the stone in the middle. These I will wear every day. I think they are so perfect, especially when cleaned. <laughs> they're so beautiful and bright and shiny um before i got the diamond studs which is what i typically wear every day i would wear these every day because they kind of had the same look um but i just i think these are the perfect size as well now these can 
these are a little bit on the larger size in terms of studs and wearing them every day but they worked for me i didn't have any issues um because i'm always concerned about wearing things like this size when i'm asleep because it will pull and tug at your ear and if you're not careful you will split the piercing but i haven't i didn't have the issue of course i didn't wear them that long in many years as i wore the other bracelets and stuff but other than that um this is a pair that i will wear every day i just don't know that i would say i would recommend wearing them <laughs> to sleep every day how you would traditional diamond earrings so then the other piece i have is a ring that i unfortunately at this point in life cannot fit but it is the cable um ring with the stone in the middle it does need to be cleaned, so we're not going to talk about that. But I have not worn this ring in years. But I do love this ring, and I feel like it's perfect. It, <laughs> it's so funny because when I initially got it, everyone thought that I was engaged. And I was like, no. I mean, I guess it kind of does resemble a wedding ring. But no, it's not a wedding ring. It's not, a, it's not an engagement ring. It is just a traditional, you know, ring that they... That they carry but i imagine if it you wanted this to be a wedding ring it could be you know you can do what you want with your stuff and next i'm gonna mention my items from idol i love idol you guys have heard me talk about idol i i beat it down to the ground like i talk about this brand i feel like in every video because that's just how much i am excited about the pieces and i love them the pieces are modular, the pieces are stackable, the pieces are real diamonds, so you know, all of my vibe. The first items that I'm going to mention are the earrings. Now, the first pair of earrings are the diamond studs, which is what would be considered a base piece. You guys see me wear these studs every single day because I literally never take them off. I only take them off if they need to be cleaned or if I need to wear another pair of earrings, then I'll take them off. So the diamond studs, they never come out. <laughs> now, pairing with that, I have these little add-ons. So the first one is one that looks kind of like this that goes up the earlobe. You guys will have seen me talk about it. I'll try to mention the videos that I talk more in depth about these items so that you guys can go check those out because i don't want to spend too much time <laughs> going in depth about each piece you know I won't, we just want to get through with it right so i have this piece that goes up the earlobe i have this one that is a hoop style so where you see the little prongs at the top that is where the um the stud goes and then the bottom is a diamond um like a diamond hoop and then i have this version that goes under the earlobe so the you put this one goes like hangs under the earlobe and you just put the diamond at the top so it stacks like that and then the last earring that is also doubles is an as a necklace are these ones that looks that are like a drop a diamond drop this is also one of those people pieces that can be worn as a necklace so it will hang off the chain and kind of like hang low like this that I think is so elegant and works very well with like an evening wear or you know like a shirt that may be a open button down shirt or something like that that is a little bit more formal is where I would put a necklace like this in but I love so then I have my initial pendant that has my initial, well, my whole family's initials. <laughs> We're all K's. Um, I have a K name, but the K with the diamond, little diamond pendant that pairs with it. Now this can be worn. This is actually one of the necklaces that this can be taken off from. So I can take the K off if I want it and just wore it how my Cartier one is with just the gold, the diamond pendant on it. So it's perfect for that. Or obviously I can, you know, wear them together or separately. So this is um, the white gold and all the pieces that I have from Idol are white gold. So next we have items from Majuri. I love the brand as well. I just feel like these are such dainty, stackable, timeless pieces of jewelry. The items that I have are 
this the wishbone stack with uh which is two rings one uh almost like a crushed diamond one and the other one is just a solid gold that can be worn together or separately i wear them both together and separately <laughs> and then there is the open diamond one which is basically a ring with the um it's like not fully closed but has a diamond on both sides so cute and so dainty like it it just goes with everything and i usually wear it on my first my first finger the next i have another majuri um necklace it is the i believe it's the satellite necklace so it is another piece that resembles the cartier one except it has stones there are stones around the necklace and i think it's like a few different places it is another one of those pieces that i think is very elegant and timeless and can be worn with more of a formal outfit or of course it can be stacked and paired with you know something like i have on today i just have a quite a few <laughs> of diamond pendant style necklaces so i don't typically wear them together but with other pieces depending on the piece they can all like make sense and match and plus this one is uh the cartier one is yellow gold the one from idol is white gold and then of course the one from majuri is different because it has the multiple stones around it versus the one pendant that the other ones have so they all serve different purposes so now i'm going to mention an item from tiffany which you guys have seen me wear a whole lot and it's going to be the Elsa Peretti open heart pendant necklace. Um, this one, of course, is the 16 millimeter one. I love, love, love this necklace. This is one that I would wear every day. Um, at one point, I had changed because, okay, so <laughs> the order of jewelry that I never took off, the diamond ace that I got when I was younger, I wore that one for many years. I switched that one out for this other Tiffany one that I had, and then I switched that one out for this one. So these are necklaces that I've worn every single day um, from the time that I had them up until another one came into the picture, and then I swapped them out. <laughs> so now I'm just to the point where... I always have to have on a necklace because I like, I just feel like I need to get up ready. <laughs> so, um, I, I do wear this piece and I wear it a lot. I just, you know, it's the time where I've been wearing my Cartier one, so I haven't switched it out. But this is such a beautiful and elegant piece. It's such a timeless piece. Um, of course, you can stack it, but I prefer to wear this one on its own because I just love the way it looks. And it says a, it says a lot on its own and not every piece has to be stacked and I want to make that clear I don't stack any and everything because you know some things don't call for it you know some things is better less right so this is just one of those items that I prefer not to stack and just wear on its own because it just makes it a little bit more simple and the vibe is there right okay and then the last pieces that I have are from a brand called so seven that I worked with Mm, a little while ago I don't know I can't remember if it was this year or, or last year but these are some of the best fashion jewelry that I have um the first item being this Cuban style link necklace it is a thinner frame but so so perfect like I just love the way it looks it has not I haven't had any tarnishing with it no issues it is like it's golden <laughs> Now this one is a little bit more of a shorter style on me at least. So it's more of a choker style. Um, I do wear this one paired with a few other accessories because it's just like the way it looked. But I, I love this necklace. I love the necklace. And then the next two items are these earrings. Now this one is more like a rope style earring that is... Just great to have it adds a little bit more, you know, character and personality to an outfit rather than just simple gold hoops, but so great to have. And then there's this pair that I get the most compliments from. Um, and they're just a chunky, not super chunky, but you can tell, like they're just a chunky style hoop earring, and I I just love them. They're the perfect size, and I think they they're just so great for every day. I love them. 
And like I said, I get the most compliments about them. They are pretty lightweight, so you don't have to worry about them being bothersome. Um, like I said, I've worn these so much, haven't had any issues as far as any discoloration or the integrity being altered on these earrings. And I have nothing but good, great, good and great things to say about them, so. So this is my jewelry collection as it is right now. It is constantly growing. I am just very excited to be collecting jewelry and I just like being intentional about the pieces that I do have because I want pieces that I can have forever and ever like pieces that I can pass down to my children and not only that but they're good for like a specific moment for me and I feel like I have a good created curated little list and I'm very proud of it so I am looking forward to adding more pieces to it and um a little bit more diversity in terms of my accessories but that is going to be it for this video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like drop a nice comment down below subscribe hit the notification bell so you get a notification when i post again and i will see you in the next video